for my summer project in my third year, uh, I chose to do something based on a video that we saw go around the Detroit area of the 1929 Fordson snow machine. Essentially, Henry Ford built a uh, screw-driven vehicle uh, on top of a tractor and what he was trying to do is find a way to make the Model T work in the snow because those skinny little tires that he originally put on it uh, didn't function in the uh, inclement weather of the just northern Michigan uh, Midwest. So he developed this uh, device that had big pontoons on the sides with screw threads and it moved very very well over the snow and the ice and the mud but it was a tractor on pontoons. Rather than make it more of a utility vehicle, we decided to kind of take inspiration from race cars like hydroplanes and hovercrafts and, and jet planes and even sports cars in order to make this thing look more like a sporty, racy vehicle uh, and kind of give it that aesthetic rather than something based on utility uh, and, and just work. Just like the original uh, Fortson snow machine that was made to go over uh, snow and ice, uh, we decided to kind of take this concept in the direction of something that could go over multiple terrains. So it has a boat shaped body itself that would drag over snow or sand uh, which would be pulled by the spiral devices on the sides uh, but once in the water it would float on that hull and the uh, turbofan style looking blades inside of the spirals would propel it through the water uh, kind of like an airplane through the air. At Lawrence Tech the, we follow a very industry standard process of uh, taking things from inspiration images, inspiration vehicles, benchmarking products uh, and, and taking that through to colors and materials and 2D sketches and then here uh, there's a lot of emphasis put on the designer being capable as a 3D model or two because that 3D model can be turned into a physical product that we can show in shows or animations that we can put on the internet uh, and you can do a lot of things with those 3D models that you can't do with a 2D sketch. Mm -hmm.